Hi everyone, I am so happy that you're here with me today. Do you remember the 10 rules that God gave Moses in the Old Testament? We call them the 10 commandments and we learn about them in Exodus chapter 20. But I wanted to talk to you about the fifth one today. This is the first commandment that comes with a promise too. That's very interesting, isn't it? We've been studying some of God's promises the past few weeks. This one says, honor your father and mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. So what does all of that mean? God even repeated these words in other parts of our Bible, which shows us how important it is to him. In Ephesians 6, 1 through 3, God says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And then he says again, Honor your father and mother, that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. That kind of explains the commandment a little bit more. We should obey our moms and dads. That's one way to show honor to them. Today is Mother's Day. And you might work really hard to do this today, and that's great. But God doesn't say to obey only on Mother's Day or only on Father's Day. We're supposed to do this every day. That sounds kind of hard, doesn't it? And it doesn't always sound like too much fun. Honoring means that we do obey, but it also means that we show love and respect. The verse says, obey your parents in the Lord. That means they need to be following God's words. And when they are, and this is true, they're giving you instructions to protect you, to help you, and to teach you. When we're young, we might not always understand this. It just seems like another rule. But that's why God gives us parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles to help us learn all kinds of things. Remember I said earlier that this was the first commandment that comes with a promise. God promises that we will live long in the land and that it will go well with us. It's kind of a fancy way of saying that we're gonna be protected or successful or that things will just be better for us if we obey and honor our parents. Is it still a choice for us? Of course. We have to decide each and every time our parents tell us something to listen and obey. We know that all of us sin. We're not going to be perfect in obeying, but God promises that we will be blessed in different ways if we follow this commandment. Let's talk about what it really means to obey. Have you ever noticed that circles do not have a beginning or an end? I have a wedding band and that's part of the vows that Mr. Joe and I took, that it doesn't have a start and a finish that goes on forever and ever. I wanna share three main parts to obedience that are very important. Hmm, maybe I could use this circle to help show you those three parts to true obedience. Let's pretend that this is a circle of blessings when we are inside this circle of blessing, then God does pour out blessings over us. Things are just better. Hmm. Let's imagine. Little Jamie is playing a video game when her mom tells her to clean her room. Little Jamie answers, Okay, mom. Mom just doesn't understand. I cannot stop right now. I'm almost to the next level. That's ridiculous. I mean, what difference does it make if I do it right now? That girl looked kind of familiar. Does she look familiar to you? I don't know where I know her from. Well, maybe Janie cleans her room later. Or, let's get real, most likely Janie forgets when the game is over to clean her room. The point of the story is that she did not obey immediately. That's one of the important parts of obedience. 
This means when our moms and our dads tell us to do something or when God tells us to do something, we shouldn't wait just because we wanna do something else. We should obey immediately. Let's see what else we need to know about obedience. Little Janie is home alone while mom went to the grocery store to run errands. Her instructions were for little Janie to finish her math homework before watching TV or doing anything else. Little Janie is about to start when her friend Sarah calls. Their favorite show is about to come on and Sarah wants to watch it together and talk on the phone. Little Janie says, I'll just do my math homework later. I mean, what difference does it make if I do it before the show or after the show? All I have to do is get it done in time to turn in tomorrow. Still can't figure out where I know that girl from. The second important part of obedience is that we obey exactly. Mom did not say that Janie could switch the order just because Sarah called. In fact, she clearly said that the homework had to be done first. That's frustrating sometimes, isn't it? We're planning to get our homework done on time, so why can't we just do whatever we want to first as long as we get it done? Well, parents and grandparents know how easy it is for something else to get in the way of homework being done and being done correctly. They want you to be successful in school and they set the rules because God tells them to set the rules. Obeying instructions exactly how they are given also prepares us to obey God, our teachers, our bosses when we're older, and even shows us how to learn new skills. We should obey God and obey our godly parents exactly. Otherwise, it is not obedience at all. Little Janie is reading a book when mom calls her to unload the dishwasher and set the table. She answers, Oh, mom, that's not fair. Why do I have to do everything around here? Why can't Mary Beth do it sometimes? Boy, she whines a lot, doesn't she? Well, I bet you can guess the last important part of obedience according to God. Jesus knows our every thought, but he also knows what's in our heart. God wants us to grow more and more like Jesus every day. And that means that we're doing the right things with the right attitude. Cheerfully is the third part of obedience we're gonna talk about today, and that's a tough one. Most of, us, and most of us do not want to stop watching TV or to do our homework or to clean our rooms or clean anything else. Those things are not always fun. But God teaches us in the Bible that he honors those that do the right things like helping others or even giving money to church when we do it cheerfully. It was not enough that Janie went and unloaded the dishwasher and set the table like her mother said. She acted very disrespectfully and was not even close to being cheerful, right? That's not complete obedience. In each story, Janie stepped out of the circle of blessings when she disobeyed her mom. That's when the bad stuff happened. Pretend with me that it was bad. It was really just a funny way to show that we can and we do easily step away from God's blessings and favor when we don't obey using God's standards immediately, exactly, and cheerfully. Getting hit with little plastic balls, silly string, or being sprayed with a water hose may even seem like fun, kind of was, but I was just being silly. Disobeying our parents has two very real consequences. First, anytime we sin, we are separated from God. Second, not obeying our parents means that we're missing out on some of God's blessings too. Remember, this commandment had a promise that things may go well. Shouldn't all of us want things to go well? Missing out on these blessings and being separated from God is the opposite of fun or funny. 
God wants to bless us. He wants to bless our lives and our families, but he expects us to follow his commandments. Remember our verse in Ephesians 6, 1 through 3, God says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Why wouldn't we want things to go well with us? Why wouldn't we want to have God's blessings? Of course we would. So we have to work really hard every day to obey our parents and our grandparents. Are we going to forget sometimes and make mistakes? Yes. But when we do, we've learned what to do for it. We ask for forgiveness. But that means we sometimes have to ask mom or dad for forgiveness as well as Jesus. Can you work on that this week? Not just because it's Mother's Day, but because God tells us to in his word. I hope you find special ways to honor the special women in your life today that help take care of you and love you. I also hope that you have a great week. And most of all, that you remember Jesus loves you more than you can imagine. Bye. Have a great week.